count continues to climb. APD has now reported 96 this year. Angel Saucedo is live after talking with the chief about the continued deadly crimes. Yeah, guys, this is the scene of that 96th homicide. And to put that number 96 in perspective, we were at 65 at the same point last year. So I spoke with, Gerald, with Chief Harold Medina. He tells me homicides, they are at the top of his priority list. We have to stop the revolving door in the criminal justice system. Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina says the first step to tackling the rise in homicides is to keep the criminals off the streets. We have to have a model where individuals are arrested they receive the help they need if it's it's substance abuse, mental health, and if not, uh, they stay in custody. Take a look at this map. It gives us the locations of each homicide from this year. You can see the groupings in places like the International District. For those of us who live in the southeast part of town, we hear those gunshots and see the, the impacts of those shootings lots more than other people. City Councilor Pat Davis represents District 6, which includes much of that area. What we're going to need from the mayor and the chief is a comprehensive plan start to finish. How do we get ahead of shootings? Hotspots like Southeast Albuquerque are exactly what Chief Medina says are being targeted through the holidays. We've moved it uh, more into the international district because of the amount of homicide that we've seen uh, in there lately. We're going to keep it there till about Thanksgiving. And with the re-election of Mayor Tim Keller, Chief Medina says there's work to be done. One thing that we didn't accomplish in the first four years is we didn't address the criminal justice system and we know it needs reform. Chief Medina also says extra resources will go towards shopping districts in December to try and prevent shoplifting during the holiday season. I'm live on 3rd Street, Angel Salcedo, KOAT, Action 7 News. City Council was also granted $25 million in public safety bonds to try and prevent more homicides.